I think it brought home to me as a leader of an organisation how we need to ensure that people are in a safe place to bring forward bad news. I think as a, as a leader, you're often looking for success for the organisation to go forward. But of course, we need to learn from things. And of course, not everything goes right. And if you create a culture whereby people can bring in bad news, we can learn from those. And so I think personally, that's something I'll take away from this evening. I think it was meaningful for me. And I think that uh, as society, and um, particularly um, the examples from employment, how the pressure of working for a large organisation um, to conform uh, to the rules, uh, and those rules are perhaps you know, going against the law or bad for the customers or the patients, as we heard for the mid-staffs example, um, it was meaningful. But I think as well it made me think about how Many people these days don't work for large organisations. Uh, they work um, in the gig economy uh, and they're hired on contracts. And so people don't just get sacked, they just don't get rehired. So the way that society and we, how we organise ourselves in terms of employment has changed a lot. So therefore we perhaps need to keep re-examining how people uh, make those complaints, how they whistleblow. Uh, but it's, it's much more complex, I think, outside of large organisations. I think it's reinforced, uh, particularly where we heard testament from people who had um, whistleblown uh, and felt the heat of that, the pain of that, and through from themselves, losing their jobs, losing their homes, etc. It's always, I think, uh, a salutary reminder when you're talking in a theoretical position to hear from uh, those people who have been uh, the whistleblowers and they've been victims themselves. Uh, uh, for standing up for what's right. So uh, it reinforced uh, 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 my perception of the importance of whistleblowing. How are we going to think for the future? Um, you know, uh, the leadership, uh, in the leadership roles I have myself, we're often thinking about the issues here and now. Uh, but of course, uh, there's tomorrow, what we want our organisations, what we want our societies to look like. And so it is important that we provide the opportunity for people to see the horizon, uh, you know, all of the landscape, rather than just uh, ploughing at the furrow with their heads down. And I think that uh, Federal very much embodies that, and that's why we're pleased uh, to partner with them.